it's getting into that time of year when we really want to share our gratitude to all of our members for making our organization strong. Um, if it weren't for you guys, we wouldn't be here. Um, I'm trying to figure out a way to break to Ashley, but she's <laughs> kind of hiding on the side. Um, <laughs> Ashley is the executive officer for the Hawaii Allen Realtors, by the way. She's quiet, shy. <laughs> Kind of like how I was <laughs> about 14 years ago. Um, and then this happened. Um, but, you know, there, there is something happening uh, this holiday season. And um, I'd like to bring on uh, Vanessa Carlson, our Hawaii Island Chamber Social Committee Chair, to tell you about this effort that our members and hopefully the realtors can help us with. Thanks, Miles. Again, I'm Vanessa Carlson. For those of you who don't know me, uh, social committee. Carla, I get to say it again. Yeah. Social committee is like a mullet, not the pitch. <laughs> <laughs> Business in the front, party in the back. Um, uh, all kidding aside, the social committee for the last four years has spearheaded a service project for the Hawaii Island Chamber of Commerce called Holiday Angels. And this year, our charity of choice, a chamber member, is the Friends of the Children's Justice Center of East Hawaii. Oh, awesome. So as our charity of choice, we work with the executive director and their board there to find out what their needs are for the holiday season. And this year I learned something very important that I wasn't aware of, and that is every holiday season, the Friends, along with the Salvation Army, and I think two other nonprofits in town, uh, coordinate a sibling Christmas. And if you didn't know, in foster care here, oftentimes teen foster children are not housed with their younger siblings. And this holiday sibling Christmas is an opportunity for them to get together and have a Christmas time together. Mm -hmm. um, and their goal this year for the friends is to raise $5,000 in either monetary or in-kind donations like gift cards because we're targeting teenagers um, so they like to give gift cards. Um, if you'll bear with me, just a little bit of background. This event, they provide the food, dessert. They have, they set up a store where each of the kids can go in and choose something from this store. It'll be gift wrapped and they can present it to their brother or sister there. They have craft tables, Santa's there. Uh, the prizes would be the gift cards. Um, they also have like photo booths, everything imaginable to make this a memorable event for these kids <laughs> who don't get to be together a lot. Wow. See? Better <laughs> <laughs> you than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we really would like you all, you don't have to be a chamber member to give. I actually have friends, because I shared about this on social media, um, that donated gift cards that I'm turning in. Um, when you donate directly to the Friends of the Children's Justice Center, it is tax deductible as allowed by law. Um, so if you want, you can go to their website and donate. It says Holiday Angels Donation, taken care of right there and then online. You can also pay by check, which you can drop off here at the Chamber office and Miles and Carla will get it to them. Um, tonight, for three potential donors, we have these beautiful centerpieces that Miles may or may not have created. <laughs> so the first three people who donate $100 will each get one of these bouquets to take home. Um, we, have a get, we have a taker in the back. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You get to pick yours. Yeah. Um, um, you get first dibs. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> there, we have posters all over the, the office the um, showing the QR code. So if you want to make a donation, okay. um, 